Hello everyone, I'm Nexus Rapper bringing to you guys a brand new video and today That's way off screen. Let's fix that. There. Alright. So a couple more people have been asking me, what's the best layout for when you start a map? Especially one of my friends that is new to this and is playing. Since you're not here, I guess I'll use Darth Maul. And is Pizza. playing on Xbox. I'm gonna go and show you guys my specific you layout. And so forth. And yes, I heard you. I'm doing this video for you. So, um. Hey, so fucking, what do you do whenever soil goes bad? Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to be using Cliffside Bay. Because I removed the house. Example of it. People that are living there and I put a new house and they still got sick too. And I had a hospital well, there too. I'm going to show you. I had a bunch of hospitals. I had like three hospitals and three police fucking stations. <coughs> I guess. Well, you're going to learn. I'm going to be making this video for you, and I'm going to show you, which I'm making it right now. You got three blasters. Alright, so, anytime you start a new map, you always, always want to pause it. That, because mm. if you pause it, you would be good to go. So, in this general oh, no. standard, let's do that so we can have access to more roads. So, in this general standard, I'm going to put a roundabout. I could have placed it a little bit better. Maybe place that better again. Right there. Alright, just like that. And then I'm going to go to upgrade. Upgrade. this to a six way get rid of this since I don't have the highway specific I'm going to be going with a two lane one way It should be able to connect right up in here, but it don't want to. So, but anyway, at the start, I always use a six lane road. Why, you ask? I count this as a main street. Also, you do are going to need some water so make sure you have your water accessories etc built otherwise if you get too much into it you can screw up bring that to right there you also want to make sure you have a drainage 
No, you don't ever, ever want to put it next to your water pump. Because you put it next to your water pump, things will end badly. So, I will put that there. A wood turbine. So, those two. So the pumping station and the um, sewage pipe will have power. And then I'm going to head back into here. Start building my residential. I may... Let's use a two lane. I'm just going to do it this way too. This area is going to be the industrial and commercial. I will be putting a power plant down. So I always use the coal power plant. Um, you always, always, always want to make sure your roads have enough availability for things to come through especially if you want to get resources to your power plant because without that you can get screwed so it don't matter how you built the residential as long as you have it ready it should be good so we're gonna build residential I mean commercial right in this area So, I'm going to change my brush size real quick. For commercial. I'm going to change that to small because this merged in. This will be commercial. This whole side. Well, let me do it like this. This whole area is going to be um, industrial. Now I can fill that in. I'm going to go back to fill. And this whole whole area is going to be residential. But no, you also want to make sure. You all freaking got that card where you throw with freaking Darth Maul, like really far. Or no. I'll be seeing you throw people off. Yes, I do. I also want to make sure you also want to make sure your power plant does have 
water. So since not much stuff is going to be getting it for the time being. Okay. Not so now anything. that you have your basic setup, you want to go into your economy and you want to go to budget. I this personally works out <coughs> excuse me. This personally works out good for me when I do it. You want to for the day you want it to be 105. Then at night you also want it to be at 105. That way you can still make money and you won't go broke. So, I'm going to go ahead and unpause this game here. I'm going to speed all this up. Note, once you start getting buildings in this area, your power from the power station will spread. But before you can start making money, you do need residence. That's the most priority. As you guys can see, the money is starting to go down now. Now, if you end up in a bankruptcy thick predicament, it's okay. Because that's basically going to give you a starter kit for this area. So you can get power over to these guys. Now, you can put power lines across for the meantime. That's if you want to. Or you can wait until you get building is built. So as you guys can see, power is starting to spread. As I was saying, telling you. So you don't need power lines. It's a little bit easier that way, in my opinion. Not have power lines. Because if you get storms and all, they will hit your uh, power lines and it will basically disconnect them. And you don't want that. So once we get into the healthcare and emergency services... You, those are your priorities. The health care. Basically, the medical staff. Um, the graveyards. Fire department. Police department. You always want to make sure they have the quickest and best route through your city. If not... Fires could break out and burn houses, buildings down. And two, if you still have dead within <coughs> your community, people will start complaining about that. And they won't get happy. They're threatened to leave. Also, garbage wise. As we can see, we're now into that. Garbage wise. You, I put my garbage centers in within the industrial because it'd be it's easier to do it that way. I'm 
and so forth. So, like I said, this is just an example map. I'm not really getting into it. But, as you guys can see, for my example. You always want to make sure you guys have water. That's a definite must. So, when you guys is um landfill gets filled up, you want to put this incineration plant somewhere. I prefer it somewhere close to your landfill, so you dump, so your trash trucks can empty the trash easier and quicker. Same when you use with the cemetery. When your cemetery gets full, you want to put your cremation crematorium somewhere close by. It is preferred. So, it can be emptied out quicker. Dead people don't pile up in your city. And yeah. Now school now when it comes to commercial office buildings and industrial some may require school education. So you want to make sure within your residential areas and high end residential areas that you got schools within the general vicinity with elementary to high school to university. Higher, the more educated people you have, the less garbage they will produce, and more job opportunities, which means you can start making more money. So, with that being basically generally said, oh, I left one key part out. You never, ever, ever want to put your landfills or your industrials next to your residential unless the industrial is a forest and or a farm farming or residential which you do have the power to choose an area by make drawing a district hold up let me see if I can't bring it up by district painting tools you can draw out a district industrial specializations you can pick what you want in that specific area. Note that goes for everything in this area for um, industrials and commercial and even residential. So, if this beginning tutorial has been helpful, well, let me go ahead and make an example. So I'm going to make this district right here. I say I want to make it farming. Okay. I would lay out an area of roadway. To put in. And then I'd go to industrial. And start zoning. Any, now anything within your specific district. Will become that specific thing you put for the district which basically I put nothing but industrial in here it will all turn into farming same thing with forestry it'll go to that oil and go to that or it will go to that and generic industry I'm the same as well The same goes for commercial. So, if this general tip and beginner's guide has helped you out, please hit that like button down below. And also subscribe for daily content of City Skylines, which I, I do stream on Xbox and PC. I'm going to be bringing out a Xbox stream pretty soon. Uh, 
I'm going to be having a Memorial Day stream. For, well, Monday is technically Memorial Day, but we're going to be having a stream then tomorrow. It's going to be on PC. Oh, one last thing before ending this recording. It's not bad to take your time in this game to build up money. If I can build taxes. Okay, here we go. Taxes wise, you always want to start off with 12%. Maybe 30 for industrial. But nothing more. That way you can start gaining a lot more money. And so forth. So you can build more things. Now, the ground pollution, you don't have to worry about it. As long as it's not close to your residential, you're fine. They won't complain. Alright guys, it's like I said. If you guys have enjoyed... Well, that's not good. But you all know what I mean by the pumping station and all. They're all getting sick. This is an example of what you don't want to do. Because of pollution. They're all getting sick. So... I am Nexus Ripper, guys, and if you do enjoy my City Skylines content, hit that like button and subscribe for daily content. Um, if there is any other things you guys want to know about City Skylines, any more tips or advice on how to fix your city, I will happily to give you that information on how to fix it and make your city a lot better. And go far in a city without going bankrupt and losing the game completely. Or losing all your citizens. So. I will see you guys in the next stream. And or video. Peace out everyone.